So finally, we had a bipartisan pill in the Senate that made some sense, was to block the latest arms deal to Saudi Arabia. It's $510 million of precision guided missiles. They're using it in Yemen. It's a civil rights catastrophe there, human rights catastrophe in Yemen. Uh, civilians are being killed uh, and, and all the human rights groups are speaking out against it. And we're the ones arming the Saudis. And great credit here, not only to uh, Democrats like Chris Murphy who co-sponsored it, but also the Republicans like Rand Paul who did. Uh, in fact, Murphy says, there's an important message to the Saudis that we are all watching. That, uh, and if they continue to target civilians, if they continue to stop humanitarian aid from getting into Yemen, this vote will continue to go into the wrong direction for them. So saying we should stop that funding to send them a message. So there's a Democrat, that makes sense. Now, let's go to the Republicans. Senator Paul says, we would stop this evil, that's a strong word, by sending a loud message to the President and a loud message to Saudi Arabia that we are not going to blindly support the arms race. We are not going to be blind to human rights transgressions. That makes a lot of sense. It's bipartisan, we don't wanna fund things that are human rights violations and and the Saudis don't poll that well in the country anyway. And we're theoretically in a democracy. So how did the vote turn out? You know where, where this is going, right? Yeah, no, we lost, uh, 47 uh, to 53. So why is Joe Manchin's face on this story, uh, as you see it next to me on the graphic? Well, it turns out that we had enough votes if all the Democrats voted uh, with a couple of the Republicans like Rand Paul to stop this. But as usual, all the Democrats did not stick together. Just five Democrats voted to support the sale. Senators Bill Nelson of Florida, Claire McCaskill of Missouri. There he is, Joe Manchin of West Virginia, Mark Warner of Virginia, and Joe Donnelly of Indiana, while four Republicans voted against the arms agreement. If we, it's 52-48 in the Senate. If those four Republicans switch over, you hold all the Democrats, you block the Saudi arms deal. But five Democrats said, nah, when it matters, when there's a vote where we can make a difference, not ones where the Republicans are gonna win anyway. Here, the Republicans could have actually lost, Donald Trump could have actually lost. Saudi Arabia and their gross human rights violations in Yemen could have lost. But Joe Manchin was there to stick up for Donald Trump. He would not have that loss. We gotta sell those weapons no matter where they drop. Congratulations, those five Democrats. So his primary opponent, of course, incensed about this, that's Paula Jean Swearingen. Uh, she's a justice Democrat. He's showing us he doesn't value human life in Appalachia, in America, or other countries. People are dying in the streets and starving in Yemen. How does he sleep at night? West Virginians are tired of dying and starving as a result of his poor leadership, too. Now, that's strong language from a strong candidate. She continues, I'm not surprised because of his history of voting in favor of President Trump, like a Republican. Damn, one last one from Paula Jean Swearingen, running in a primary against Joe Manchin. Senator Manchin voting against the provision to stop the sale. That tells me that Senator Manchin supports giving weapons to a country that is known for harboring terrorists. The weapons could possibly end up in the hands of terrorists. Well, that's a fair point given that 15 out of the 19 hijackers were Saudis on 9-11. But even past that, even if you say, "Oh no, the US government that flew out all those Saudi officials a day after September 11th, uh, genuinely believes the Saudis were not in, in any way involved. That's why we've done nothing but help them since. Well, how do you counter the fact that we, there was a definitive report that the insurgency, the Sunni insurgency in Iraq was funded by the Saudis. They were shooting at our boys over there, okay? They killed our soldiers uh, in Iraq, the IEDs, etc., funded by the Saudis. That's a report that came out during that insurgency. But nonetheless, we keep sending arms over to Saudi Arabia and other Al Qaeda affiliated groups, by the way. So let me give Tulsi Gabbard an enormous credit here for starting a bill that would actually, very simple, it's called Stop Arming Terrorist Act. Is anybody gonna vote against this? And the answer is probably yes. But what we need is more co-sponsors for this and we need more support for it, so go to now.justdemocrats.com slash petition slash SATA, that stop aiding America's enemies. Don't worry, we'll have the link down below for you guys so you guys could just click on it. Read that whole message there and understand that it makes no sense to send these weapons to radical Sunni extremists and call that some sort of foreign policy strategy. 
So should we stop arming terrorists? Of course, of course we should. Should we stop giving weapons to Saudi Arabia that then uses it for human rights violations? And God knows where else those weapons go. Of course we should. But there are a number of Democrats who tell you it's really important to vote for corporate Democrats because they could make the difference in the Senate. But yet whenever they do make the difference, it's to help the Republicans and Donald Trump. If you like this video, you'll love the whole TYT network. Check it out at tytnetwork.com slash join.